Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 20 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the videos or download the project files, links in the description. We already generated size data, and I tried almost two days to dynamically create the size text box but I didn't find any easy methods to do it most of them are out of scope, so I'm fetching one quantity data for all sizes. Create a text box for getting quantity. Now let's insert our size and quantity data. Here we already fetched PID. Now we need to get size ID from selected checkbox. We can do this with for loop. Fetch size ID and quantity in variables. Insert this data to the DB. Fill all the details. Click add. As you can see the data is added to our main product table. And the size quantity table is filled with two data, because we selected two different size. Now we need to insert and save images for our product. The concept is insert the file name and extension to the DB, and save images to folder. So let's do it. So first create a folder named product images inside our images folder. We have 5 upload control, 
so we have to save images from 5 upload control. First check if the file upload has file, then only we need to run the rest of code. Next create a file path to save our image. Inside product image folder, we are creating a dynamic folder with PID, so every product have one folder created, so we can easily fetch product images for future use. So every product path is new and we need to dynamically create these folders. Check if the directory exists. In save as, specify our directory and append the file name to save our image. For improving SEO we can use product name from text box, you can use anything, also give the file upload number. and save image extension. Now we need to insert this data to table. Like this write code for all remaining 4 file upload controls. The final code looks like this. Let's run our page. Fill all the details and upload images.
click add. Now check all tables. All data are successfully inserted. Also our images are saved in folder. Sorry guys I forgot to save image with extension, so please add the code in save as string. Paste extension in every upload. In the next episode I will show you how to display all our inserted products and images with bootstrap and repeater. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you.